Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be covering my top five altcoins for the month of November 2023. Right now, my main focus is on the artificial intelligence sector of the crypto market because there is a lot happening with AI in the real world. From conferences to companies having huge announcements, I believe that the AI sector in the crypto market is going to see a huge momentum push to close out the year of 2023. So if you want to find out my top five coins for November, this is the video for you. So be sure to stick with me until the very end. It's time to get into it and let the gains be with you. So to start off this video, let's take a look at the artificial intelligence sector of cryptocurrency as a whole. The AI sector in crypto has a combined market cap of $3.1 billion at the current moment in time. However, it's important to understand that the second largest AI crypto, which is BitTensor in the Tau coin, is not calculated in this figure. We can take a look at Tau stats and see that the market cap of BitTensor Tau is $500 million. So that would put it right underneath render, but CoinGecko does not actually calculate this figure. So from this observation, we can conclude that the artificial intelligence sector in crypto is worth around $3.6 billion as a whole out of $1.32 trillion. So a ton of room for growth here. We're going to look back at this figure and realize how small it actually was at this current moment in time in the future. Now, in terms of artificial intelligence in the real world, a lot is happening with AI companies. Mainly OpenAI is having their OpenAI Dev Day on November 6th. So OpenAI is the creator, the company that created ChatGPT. ChatGPT went live in December of 2022. And then just a few weeks later, we saw all of the AI crypto coins go on an absolute rampage, multiplying by 5x, 10x, etc. throughout January and February of 2023. So this is a huge catalyst that I am paying attention to. If OpenAI is going to announce any big releases, any new announcements, then that can have some huge effects on the prices of AI crypto coins. So definitely keep an eye on what they say on November 6th, which is just a few days away. And then taking a look at this website here, this is called Trial Labs, and they essentially list out all of the AI conferences happening to close out 2023. As you can see, OpenAI Dev Day is on November 6th. We just talked about that. And then basically every single week, there is an AI conference up until the end of 2023 ai expo in austin texas is the last one for 2023 and then it cools off but this is going to be a big two months for artificial intelligence which is why my focus right now is on the ai crypto coins so coin number one for this video is going to be BitTensor and the tau coin right now tau is trading for 89 dollars with a market cap of 500 million dollars now, if you've been subscribed to my channel here at Crypto Empire, or you follow me on Twitter at CSell Crypto, you would have known that I've been talking about Tau from the point in time it was $60, $55, $50. Here I am, I put out this tweet today. This is a video I made on Tau a few weeks ago. And as you can see, the price at the time of this video was $50. So congratulations to anybody who caught the meat of this move higher. The price is up huge. Congratulations, but the beautiful thing is that I believe that this project is just getting started. Not many people know about this thing yet, and a lot of people are going to be learning about it in the coming months as AI is going to be on the headline of everybody's newspapers, computers, etc. So the total supply of Tau right now is 5.5 million coins out of 21 million. The tokenomics were inspired by Bitcoin, right? Right now there is kind of high inflation. Many people see this as one of the main cons of the project in terms of the tokenomics and the four year having schedule. However, I believe that demand will outpace supply. That's my personal opinion. So now in terms of the fundamental outlook on BitTensor Tau, what this network is, it's essentially a decentralized artificial intelligence protocol with many subnets that account for different use cases. So on taustats.io, this is the main website where you can find information about Tau from the market cap to all the different subnets. You can see the different subnets that are already live. These are brand new. These just launched at the start of October. 
and these are machine learning subnets, so they learn over time. Okay, so it's important to understand that this project is in its infancy, and a lot of these AI models still need a lot of work, but the potential is limitless, and it's decentralized in the sense that if any small company out there has an AI model, they can upload it to the BitTensor network, and then actually start earning income from people using their AI model. So it is true decentralized AI, and these are some of the models currently live from text generation, machine translation, scraping, image generation, storage, price prediction, etc. All right, so it's just getting started. A lot more subnets will be going live to mainnet as time does go on. And I believe that this is the most bullish AI crypto coin with the most potential going forward. Taking a look at the Tau price chart, this thing has been on an absolute tear from around October 20th, as you can see, the price is up 90%. From the lows at around $46 to current price, 92%. I bought most of mine between 50 and 60, so we're up pretty nice right now. So it's good to see that. We'll see how things play out, but the level I have my eyes on right now for Tau is around $75. As you can see, we have a rally base, rally demand zone from around 75 to $65, okay? So we'll pull back to this level, probably gonna get eaten up pretty quickly. So if you don't have any exposure, this is what I would be looking for. There's no guarantees that it even makes it back down to this level. But yeah, this is a pretty obvious demand zone on the daily time frame if price does get back down there. In terms of where I see it going in the future, the all-time high is $99, okay? So price discovery is right around the corner. Once it breaks 99, it will be in price discovery. I think throughout the bull run, this one has the potential to reach four figures, so over $1,000. But here in the short term in November for this month, I'm just looking forward to break out into price discovery above $99, and we'll see how we do go from there. So that's coin number one for the video. Moving on to coin number two, it's gonna be the number one AI crypto coin listed on CoinGecko, and that's the Render Network and the Render Token. So Render right now is trading for $2.17. It is down 11.5% on the day. It has a market cap of $808 million. A few days ago when the coin was trading for $2.50, the market cap was over $1 billion. So a nice pullback right now. In terms of the supply, 372 million out of 531 million tokens are in circulation. I just made a full video covering render yesterday. I'll put a card right here to that video. So you can go ahead and watch it and get more of an understanding on what this project is, but it is essentially offering GPU rendering services on the blockchain. Now, in terms of what is happening with render, they just had a speaker, their COO speak at the Solana Breakpoint Conference, and they announced officially that they are moving the render token over to Solana. It is still on Ethereum. So if your render tokens are on the Ethereum network, it's not like they're just gonna lose all their value, okay? If you want to, you can migrate your tokens over to Solana. And if you hold your render tokens on something like Coinbase, simply don't have to do anything, okay? So I've been getting a lot of messages about this. Just relax if you're on Coinbase. You literally don't have to do anything, so just chill out. Anyway, so Render moving to Solana is the hottest topic right now happening. But the main reason that I'm so bullish on Render is simply because artificial intelligence requires so much GPU processing power, and Render is a direct solution for that problem. So this is a coin that I do actually hold, and I will continue to hold it, and I'm looking forward to have a really good close out of 2023. Now in terms of the render price chart, this is the daily time frame. As you can see, I have marked out a swing low down here at $1.30. By the way, I was talking a lot about render when the price was around $1.40 down here. So congratulations if you were subscribed to my channel and caught the entry down there. Anyways, our swing low is down here at $1.30. Swing high up here, it was formed just a few days ago at $2.68. So the levels that I am looking for Ideally, we come back down to the $2 level. That's the 50% Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so $2. Underneath that, there's a huge demand zone at $1.80. That's also where the 61.8 retracement is, the golden ratio. Okay, so $2, $1.80, those would be ideal. Right now at 220, it's not a level to be ignored. Maybe this is just a shallow pullback and maybe it holds this 38.2 retracement. You don't know. We don't have any exposure right now. It may be worth nibbling here, not financial advice, but there's no saying that it actually gets down to $2 or 180, but if it does, those are my main levels of interest. But again, here at 220 is not a level, 215 is not a level to be ignored. And in terms of where I see this one going, 
So once it actually breaks the yearly highs at $2.95, that happened over here back in May, right? Once it breaks these 2023 highs, it's really kind of got clear skies up till $4 and then really 550 to six are my next two targets for render. After that, it's gonna go into price discovery and start making new all time highs if all goes well. That would be sometime later on next year. But I think this one is primed up to do really well to close out November and December. I'm looking forward to break the yearly highs at 295 and then start running towards $4. I do think it is possible that that starts to happen this month in November. We'll see how we go. All right, so that's coin number two. Moving on, coin number three is gonna be the Acash Network and the AKT token. The Acash Network has a market cap of $220 million, and Acash is building a AI super cloud. As we can see, Acash is open source super cloud that lets users buy and sell computing resources securely and efficiently, purpose built for public utility, okay? So kind of like Render, where they're offering services, GPU services, computer services, on the blockchain. And yeah, it's a much needed use case for artificial intelligence. It's a true decentralized network. It's built on the Cosmos SDK. Really, really bullish on Acash. Again, I covered this one a few months ago with an in-depth overview. I'll leave a card to that video right here. If you wanna learn more about the Acash network, I recommend you watch that. But as an AI coin, this has a ton of potential. So let's take a look at the price chart. So AKT here, similar to all the other AI coins, started to see a nice uptick towards the end of October. As you can see, it traded from around 77 cents to a high of around a dollar and 12 cents. Right now it's sitting at a dollar and one cent. So in my opinion, a pullback, looking at this daily chart, so we have a rally base rally zone here. And realistically, this is from 102. This is a daily breaker from 102 to 92 cents. So anywhere from current price down to 91 90 cents looks pretty good you want to see that hold because as you can see this was a previous resistance zone and then price broke out here at the end of october so you want to see this level hold at 91 cents for a retest and most likely that's going to be an optimal buying price unless we see a huge scare in the market to send things lower but i don't really see that happening okay so akt i'm really looking for this one to go back up to the highs at 172 it made earlier in the year and then after that looking at this token's all-time high at eight dollars it's got a lot of room to actually run okay so akt just looking at this chart on coin gecko looking at the previous tops 250 would be an area of interest you also have one at three dollars you also have one over here at around five dollars okay so if you're looking for targets to sell the previous key points, key resistance points in the chart usually act as good selling indicators, all right? We can expect pullbacks there. So $250, $3, $455, dollars they all look like good targets here for AKT. But here for the month of November, to just to move to the yearly highs from current price, you're looking at a 70% gain. As you can see, 69%. So a lot on the table here for Acash. I'm really bullish on this technology as an AI coin, solving a huge use case for AI. I wouldn't ignore this one. All right, now moving on to coin number four for the video, it's gonna be Ocean Protocol. Ocean is more in line with big data, not necessarily artificial intelligence, but the two kind of go hand in hand, okay? And Ocean usually pumps as the AI narrative takes effect in crypto. Right now, Ocean is trading for 37.7 cents, with a market cap of $169 million. Now the all-time high of the Ocean Protocol is $1.93, so a lot of room to get back up there from the current price of 37 cents. In terms of the project's fundamentals, like I said, it's not really an AI coin, it's more of a data coin, a data marketplace. As you can see, data, the new asset class, next generation tools to unlock data at a large scale. So all in all, I am expecting Ocean Protocol to catch a bid with an AI narrative pump in crypto. And a big reason of why I'm talking about it in this video is because the technicals of the ocean price chart look really good. As with all of the AI coins, like I said in the beginning of the video, once OpenAI released ChatGPT to the public in December 2022, it sparked a fire in the AI crypto world that lasted throughout January and February. As you can see with Ocean Protocol, from the bottom over here in November, we'll take a look in, in December when AI really started to pick up, okay? So it was around 16 cents and it topped out over here at 57 cents. That's a gain of 250%. 
in around 44 days, okay? So a month and a half. So when AI gets going, Ocean also does get going. And after this huge move of 250%, in January and February. It's been in this multi-month consolidation all year long. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure this consolidation. And it's been consolidating for 270 days, right? So that's quite a bit of time. Many months have been spent in this consolidation zone. And in my opinion, this is a larger time frame bull flag. We have the move in, right? The flag pull, then the actual flag consolidation. Now we're looking for the breakout and the next move, the next leg higher. This here is just a huge eight month plus bull flag consolidation. Now from this trend line, we can see that price perfectly broke out. It already retested it. We wanna see Ocean hold the 37 cent level. All right, we wanna also see it hold a retest if it does come back down to this trend line. So buying from current price down to around 34 cents in this circle here looks like the move in my opinion for ocean and where i see this project going if we zoom this out to the weekly time frame we have the yearly highs up here at 57 cents and then above that we have some key levels at 75 cents and then we get to a dollar i do think it has the potential to get back up to a dollar once things do start moving in the crypto market right ocean is a pretty low market cap right now market cap is 169 million dollars so a lot of room for growth the chart looks really bullish. And again, just to summarize, we want to see it hold the retest of this bull flag breakout from current price at 38 cents down to around 34 cents. We're looking for moves up to around 60 cents, 75 cents, and then $1 on Ocean Protocol. Moving on to coin number five for the video, that's going to be Fetch.ai and the FET token. Right now, FET is trading for 33.2 cents with a market cap of $352 million. That is one of the older, most well-known AI coins. I believe that new tech will outpace FET, but I still think FET is going to perform extremely well just off of the AI narrative alone, and people don't really do research in crypto. They just buy whatever the cartoon character profile picture is saying to buy on crypto Twitter. Okay, so people don't like to do their own research. People are lazy, and they see fetch.ai. It's one of the biggest, most well-known AI coins. They're gonna rush into it like sheep going into uh, the, the cattle pen, right? Anyways, the all-time high of FET is $1.17. So from 33 cents, we still have quite a bit to go up to that all-time high. I've covered FET extensively in detail in the past, so I'm not gonna really cover it in detail in this video, but essentially FET is building an AI ecosystem. And the thing that I'm personally looking forward to the most is their AI agents. Right, it's essentially like a personal assistant that knows everything about you that can help you throughout your everyday life. And I want one of these, right? It would really help me out. So if FET can actually pull this off, I'll be using their AI agents. But yeah, FET, it has potential, right? If they can continue to build, then it could turn into something in the long term. But here in the short term, I'm just more concerned about the price going up. And I think that it will go up, not financial advice. But yeah, that's just my belief. So as with all the AI coins, October 20th saw a huge uptick as we see it went from 19 cents up to a high of 40 cents. So it essentially 2x in around two weeks time, as we can see. So a huge gain, similar to BitTensor Tau. It's pulling back a little bit right now. What I wanna see for FET is this March low. As we see here in March, this happened when the Silicon Valley Bank actually crashed or went down, went insolvent. We saw the crypto market crash, and this marked a key low at 29.5 cents for FET. And now if we look at the chart on FET's most recent rise up, we had a demand zone form right at that level at 29.30 cents, right? A rally based rally demand zone right here. So on this pullback, if it does lose 33 cents, which is a pretty important support level, as we can see, was holding support before a huge breakdown earlier in the year. So if price does end up losing 33 cents, I wanna see it come down to 29 and a half cents. And I like that level a lot to see a reversal and then a continuation move higher towards the 50 cent levels, okay? 50 cents are the main targets here for FET. Above that, I like 66 and then 75 cents for FET. So a possible 100% move on the table here to close out the year, but I think this one's gonna do really well in November. Again, 
it's on a pretty big level right now if this is just a shallow pullback this could be a local bottom but the main level that i want on fet is the march low again from back when the silicon valley bank went insolvent at 29 and a half cents for an entry looking to ride this up to around 50 cents 66 cents and then 75 cents these are my top five coins for november I hope that you did enjoy this video. So in this video, I covered my top five coins for the month of November, 2023. Right now for trading, I'm focused on the artificial intelligence sector of the crypto market for reasons that I explained in this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you were brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so that you don't miss any future videos such as me making a lot of videos on Tau when the price was between $50 to $60. Now it's at $90. You don't want to miss this info, so subscribe to the channel. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire, and I'll see you in the next video.